Today's videographer Lincoln J and I ventured out to Ingersoll, Ontario, the site of GM's Cami factory, which is currently being retooled to make electric commercial vans. By the way, we weren't crashing a party here because on Sunday evening, I was personally invited to this press conference, stated the invite, quote, GM officials will be joined by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Ontario Premier Doug Ford, and Ontario Minister Vic Fideli for an announcement, end quote. Oh, joy, I thought. GM is actually officially inviting me to an event involving the PM and the Premier, both of whom look upon Rebel News staffers these days as being so many skunks to the garden party. But the truth of the matter, and you won't see this reported in any legacy media outlet, folks, is I had already been tipped off by an insider regarding some shenanigans that would be taking place in Ingersoll that day, which is to say this, the head honchos at the plant, which is still being retooled for EV production, told about 150 construction workers and some 50 programmers to stay home that day. Why? Well, that's the thing. No reason was given. Just that all of these tradespeople were suddenly deemed to be persona non grata, at least for the Monday press conference event. Don't you find that odd, folks? And the workers, I'll tell you, they were mightily miffed. Missing a day's work meant losing eight hours of regular salary plus two hours worth of overtime. Canadians are hurting these days given inflation and rising interest rates. So why were they being given this unwanted day off? Well, according to sources, the unspoken strategy was simply this. Justin Trudeau is increasingly morphing into a control freak these days. That's why his itinerary in terms of where and when he is going to be isn't typically announced until the very last minute. That's because Justin is getting a little weary of this sort of reception. Break my hand holding a freedom flag. Are you 20 seconds, you communist? Go, Trudeau, you're nothing but a communist pig. That's what you are. You're disgusting. You should like resign. Bring our political prisoners. That disgusting prisoners. communist. 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 Your 20 seconds is finished. Go back to China, you lover. Gee, it looks like even the canine contingency despises Trudeau these days. Jolly good for Fido, I say, who is once again proving that a dog is truly man's best friend. Now, the crux of the matter regarding that one-day layoff of electricians and carpenters and assorted other real men and women building things with their hands was this. Trudeau's handlers were terrified that Justin would be targeted you know, with a middle finger, or someone might heckle him, or someone might unfurl one of those infamous F. Trudeau flags. Oh, we can't have that, can we? Justin is very sensitive, you know. So in order to protect Justin's uber-sensitive eyes and ears, GM management actually sent home more than 200 hardworking Canadians on that Monday, merely on the suspicion that somebody might misbehave. Oh, and they weren't the only ones sent home that day. Because even though myself and Lincoln had invites from Erin Strolovich, she, her, a GM senior communications manager, 
A not-so-funny thing happened en route to the GM Ingersoll plant. By the time we got there, we were deemed to be persona non grata and told to beat it. Oh, by the way, here's a photo of Erin Strolovich, she, her. Uh, do you think that anyone has ever mistaken Erin Strolovich, she, her, for a he, him, or a zezer, or a temters, or a visvers, or an em? By the way, folks, I'm not making up this pronoun crapola. I'm referencing this from some LGBTQIIAAPP, etc. resource center. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Anyway, once we arrived on site, a lady with a clipboard, and forgive me, I don't know if this person was a she, her, or not, tersely informed us that we weren't allowed to take part in the press event, even though we showed her the printed invitations sent to us from Ms. Strolovich, she, her. Then along came another security person who told us to scram, or else, eh, yeah, and you guessed it, we'd be facing trespassing charges from law enforcement. We're not allowed access for you guys. Oh, I think there's been a mistake, sir. Um, Aaron Strolovich last night. That's our confirmation. This is GM property. Right. A GM product communications person invited us. I'm just us. telling you this is trespassing, okay? Even though I've been invited by a GM employee. How is that trespassing? What the hell? It seemed like Lincoln and I had devolved from invited guests into the Batabi brothers from a night at the Roxbury. You know, those lovable losers who can never make it past the gatekeeper because they are never on the list. Ladies, you all right? See you next week. My good hombre, remember us? No. Doug and Steve Butabi? Your brothers? No. Yes? yes. Man, it works every time. Yeah, I know. Now nah, remember, you can't come in. Time to play a little softball. Hey, good man. How's it going tonight? Good. You still can't come in. Well, that's not what a friend of mine told me. Maybe you know him. His name is Abraham. You don't know. What about his two friends? George Washington and George Washington. Let's not forget the other boy in the band, George Washington. He's a little lonely, wants to join his buddies. And look who else we got. Uh, Roosevelt, Roosevelt, and Jefferson. Okay. Great. Yeah, that's pretty much how Lincoln and I felt, except unlike the Batabi brothers, we were on the list. That's an excerpt from my show every night. It's called The Ezra Levant Show. That's me, Ezra Levant. Uh, you can see the whole thing behind our paywall. Well, there's a lot of goodies behind there. I do a show every weeknight. My friends Sheila Gunn-Reed and David Menzies and Nat and Kat have their shows too. You get a ton of content for just eight bucks a month. There's so much in there you won't find anywhere else. Go to rebelnewsplus.com.